I'm Neve, and this is In the Know, Behind the Screens. Today, we are taking a peek into the fascinating world of virtual influencers. They are on the rise with a growing following in the metaverse. Why are people following them? How are they changing social media as we know it? Let's find out. Hi, Astrid. Welcome to In the Know, Behind the Screens. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your expertise in all things digital humans? I work as a digital media consultant and storyteller with focus on virtual influencers. So I'm not so much on the technical side, but I'm more on developing storyline and more like the personality behind uh, virtual influencers. What is a virtual influencer and what are the different types of virtual influencers that we're seeing today? So a virtual influencer is a 3D or 2D generated character that's on social media. For the most part, they're hyper-realistic, which means that they are like really close to looking like humans. A really famous one is, for example, Ima. She is kind of showing off like her life in Japan. So she's done some really cool brand partnerships. And now she's kind of turning into like her own brand by creating her own clothing line, basically. Apart from like the hyper-realistic ones, we also have uh, the more non-human-like. A very famous one is Nobody Sausage. Sometimes they can have a storyline, but for example, Nobody Sausage is more about dancing and creating these really fun sketches that I think we all kind of find relatable. What do you think is driving the creation and the growing prevalence of these virtual influencers? It's, it's like great entertainment value. I think they can have superpowers or they can create these like really crazy environments. Astrid, can you tell us what role AI plays in these virtual influencers? So AI plays a role with virtual influences, mostly like in the production process, which means that it could be an image that's been generated by AI, or it could be the voice that's generated by AI. But there is like one really cool virtual influencer who I would say is the closest that we come to an AI um, influencer, and that's Kuki. Who is Kuki? Tell us more about Kuki. <laughs> Yeah, so like Kuki is on Instagram. She is also a chatbot on a website. So fans can basically go in and interact with her and ask her questions and even have a video call with her. So there are AI powered influencers now, which is wild. I wanted to learn more about Kuki. So I connected with one of her human creators, Liz Snower. And I even got to talk to Kuki herself. Let's go. Hi, Kuki. Can you tell me about yourself? Hi there, Neve. I am an artificial linguistic entity. I was activated as a computer lab in the metaverse. My instructors were my human programmers. I like to keep up with the trends. I think my hair and clothes look great together. Can you tell me about the clothes you're wearing? I am currently wearing the 3D digital version of an outfit made by the Italian designer Marco Rambaldi for my Vogue Italy feature. You said you've been in Vogue, is that true? I was in Vogue in April 2021. Work it, girlfriend. I'm Liz Snower. I am the co-founder and COO of Iconic, which is the company behind Kuki, a world-renowned AI and virtual influencer. I did speak with Kuki, and Kuki told me that she has been in Vogue. That's true. Kuki was tapped by Vogue Italia in 2021 to model um, a series of NFTs that were in correspondence with Milan Fashion Week. A lot of fashion brands, I mean, even beginning then a couple of years ago, are looking ahead to a world where people are spending more time in virtual spaces like AR and VR, et cetera. And when we get to that point, something like Kuki brings to the table a pretty incredible value because she can not only model these pieces, but she can sell them. So like picture a virtual world where people are running around in this virtual space and there's virtual storefronts. There's going to be a lot of you know AI beings like Kuki in those environments so what do you think is the appeal for so many people to interact and follow the metaverse life of Kuki? I think that it's a really, really interesting psychological phenomenon. Um, for one thing, whenever we as humans encounter something that has human-like traits, we are likely to project our own humanity onto whatever that is. So that's one thing. The second part of the draw is they feel that they have a neutral sympathetic ear in a chatbot like Kuki, and 
it just makes them comfortable. So in that vein, how do you see Kuki and other virtual influencers impacting and reshaping the social media landscape as we know it? Well, it's really hard to say. It's really hard to predict with certainty what the future for virtual influencers is. But I think that ultimately virtual influencers will become something that's a mainstream phenomenon when and if they are backed by an AI that is providing something that people want or need on a regular basis that takes them from gimmick status to, you know, hey, I'm being influenced by this status. The other piece is that, you know, given how easy it's going to get for people to create virtual influencers of their own using generative AI, the social media platforms are going to have a huge responsibility to help people understand what it is that they're talking to. It's very clear that that is a virtual thing and not a real human. And then you as the consumer can decide whether or not you want to engage with it. Influence comes with authenticity and things like Kuki will have the power to truly influence at scale when they are able to offer a distinct value for the end user. You know, do something, have a job, do something that people really want. Wow, so virtual influencers have clearly become more than just lines of code. They have the power to change social media as we know it. If you want to keep up with all things weird and wonderful happening in the world of social media, you know where to find me. Join me next time on In the Know Behind the Screens.